let's let's continue our murderous path in Divinity Original Sin 2. So we are here doing some of the things related to the relics of Rivalon. I already talked to her, so now I think I can kill them. I think this guy needs to survive. No, uh, it hurts. Huh? So let's see. What? The armor speaks, but you are too loud. You think I am mad? She gestured. Yes. Watch. Do come here, Dara. The Magister's scream bubbles beneath putrid gas and is cut suddenly short. The corpse rocks gently, as if the creepers knit silently. Do you see now? It is a marvel. That was that was impressive, but I was I was thinking that I, I actually wanted to talk to this guy. It only begins. It is a holy act. The thief is unworthy soil from which to grow, but it hurts her, and that is enough. They elevate with every a well she grasps. It is for us. Okay, let me see if I can do that another way. So uh, let's uh, let's science science things. So if I if I actually just attack her instead of starting to talk to her, I did get experience from uh, from the magister, but I. Um, there should be. I can get more experience if uh, if the magister is alive. So that basically means I should be attacking the Yena here instead of uh, instead of doing something else. So let's do that. So we we get this fight, but uh, I think you actually don't get any experience from this fight. But if you if you do this fight, and the Magister is still alive, um, then uh, then you get the most experience. Like the best. I wonder if these guys go away if I just kill Diana. Oh, these guys are actually pretty damn tough. Ooh, level 14, hello. Okay, this will be interesting. Uh, let's get some hide advantage here. Can I still uh, dodge her? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. Hey, Arum. Okay, but this... Uh, these uh, relics of Rivalon, Rivalon fights have actually been pretty interesting because these fights are new to me. These are new to me and uh, they have been quite challenging as well. Yeah, these guys are tough. I'm not sure if I can kill... Uh, can I kill them? I think Diana is the weakest one. Yeah, she is. Okay, this, this, might, this might require little bit of a source so maybe maybe I will grasp her let's see let's uh, first use all our, all our abilities with skin craft this should uh, should not be that hard hmm. well, actually There's no corpse laying around for some reason. For some reason, the chicken didn't leave a corpse. Um, it's still a thousand, so I can do. Okay, for some reason, I'm I'm not on high ground here. Well, I guess right. If she was there, then uh, 
then it would be high ground. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I can do enough damage. So let's do the infects anyway. Five ninety five. It will be close. Two six five. So if I if I do skin craft here. Craft here and get uh, get extra extra points. Okay, the grasp grasp would already kill her, but I kind of want that. Uh, so let's get extra action points from here. The skin craft will abuse the adrenaline. Now with the cooldowns cooldowns we can kill her. Oh, the Magister is now... Oh, no. That's not necessarily a good thing, because now... Oh. Okay, well, I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, the Magister will probably die now, because he, he decided to join the fights when I killed the Yen. Uh, these, guys are, these guys are super tough. That did give me a little bit of extra, but uh, I think without a, without a critical, the corpse explosion won't do won't do enough damage. Uh, I wonder is there any chance to get high ground? That 25% chance... 25% damage would uh, do quite a lot. Let me see if I... If I use my haste to move a little bit. Let's try to go like here. Does that, does that count as high ground? No. It does count on, on him, but not you. Do I still have my zeros? No. Let's do that anyway. That's the most damage I do anyway, like a thousand. So I can knock these guys out, then there's just this guy left. But I guess I guess it's already already alright. So let's just use one one action point to come here. Now that I can knock them out, I got armors out. Hope this wasn't is so good. This guy has 1200 armor as the, I still got her. So let's knock these guys out. Now as long as this this one doesn't kill the kill the magister, we should be alright. Okay. We almost died. <laughs> uh Okay, I guess it's time for living on the edge then. Which I don't have memorized or uh, or on my okay, we are screwed. We are screwed. Yeah. Uh yeah, we are blinded. Okay. Um Let's try this again. Let's try this again. I might... This fight is so hard. This fight is so hard that I think I need to go and respec out of the pet spell and get the, get the crit chance. I think uh, because, uh, because they were... They were... Oh, screw that. They were, they were all... They were all there. Uh, I didn't have action points to knock them out anymore. So uh, even even with armor potions or such, I would have died. 
And since I, I kind of, I will try to do this without invisibility. So it's that's why I'm kind of testing testing different things in the in the fights as well. Okay, well let's um, let's go um, let's go race back. So I have done all the pet bell stuff for now. So now we can. Um, Source orbs. Sure thing. I'll stop. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Han is pretty res resourceful for getting a. You can send him to get anything. Okay. Am I wearing the right stuff? Actually, yes, I am. Um. Because now I I can also. Distribute my points a little bit differently. If I if I take free hydro, I could finally have the bloodstorm as well. So that is a, that's definitely an option. Yeah, let's uh, let's see how I how I do this. So let's change the talents. I will take the pet spell out and let's take uh, the savage shot. So after this, I can crit with my spells. Uh, making a whole lot more damage. Um, I will take one point, one point away from Scoundrel and get Hydro, um, so that I can have the Bloodstorm already because that's a, that's insane, insane skill. It does cost all my source points, but it's uh, it's really good. So let's do that. Do need necromancer free. I don't need polymorph. Polymorph four yet, but I might as well keep it because I will get to five on the next level, which we are really, really close to. Uh, yes, tiny frog. With the elemental, elemental affinity, when I'm standing in blood, all the necromancy spells cost less. Yes. This should be fine if we have enough memory. So basically, take it, taking the taking the savage sodalich again and getting uh, getting hydro points. We have plus two from the gear. We can we can lose plus one from those and still uh, still be okay with hydro. Okay, so now, uh, now we can learn Bloodstorm. And the Blood Drain. Which is an important setup, especially especially later. The Bloodstorm... Bloodstorm will actually... Hmm, yeah, we've, we won't be using that, actually. I, at least I learned it now. Yeah, it's a... Uh, we are not going to use that yet because it's it uses so many memory points. It's kind of a, I have to wait for at least one more level with that. So uh, let's uh, let's go back with the hydro. Just use the ones I have from the from the gear, and uh, so let's keep that. But uh, now I will start creating with uh, creating with the spells. So that's good. Um, let's see. Is it because of the higher critical chance and the critical damage? Yeah, there is there is no difference there. It's like ten percent more critical chance. So I think uh, it is still more beneficial for me to go with these single-handed ones. Okay, but I am I am creating health the time, and if I do if I do peace of mind, like little little more than now, uh, health the time.
Hmm. The destination pyramid doesn't answer the call. Is something blocking it? Your fish thinks of the it's uh because I have uh, I have bonuses from here like warfare, warfare and stuff. Uh, this will mess up with my with my skills if I throw these away, because uh, this has two memory. That two memory is actually pretty significant at the moment, so that's why I don't want to swap because it uh, throws away the skills. So it'll be we'll be fine with those. Up. Okay. Uh, Let me see about this fight. So I probably want to place myself here to have high advantage to have even more. So that was kinda kinda good setup. So let's start from uh, start from this side. This was a little bit tougher fight, so uh, let's uh, let's pre-buff for this. Pre-bufferino. Okay, so first we. I still want to get them here together. This uh, this guy is the most dangerous one. Has so so much armor. I want uh, want him around when I do it. Uh. Then I do the swap. So let's do that. Let's say the flesh sacrifice here. So let's basically do the same thing. Same team, but um, now I now I should be doing critical hits every now and then, which will add a whole lot a whole lot of damage. It's fifty percent of the time, but even that is significant. So let's do let's do that. So if we happen to crit with our spells, we actually start to get. Uh, start to do uh, quite a lot of damage. So I'm really hoping this corpse explosion actually actually crits, but uh, it is 50% uh, of the time. If I do skin craft, I would actually teleport this one there as well. But then I would have to have to get closer. Um, Let me think. I think I can maybe survive with that guy there. So let's uh, let's see if this crits or not. Hey, I actually got a crit. Nice. Yeah, that was lucky. That was lucky so that actually makes this fight a quite a bit easier. But of course, our target is actually make it so that we always crit. We are, we are, we are currently halfway there. But when we start critting with everything, then uh, then we can reliably do that. Okay, so what I can actually do now is I could kill her already with uh, with the grasp. Ideally, I would have you there as well. So what I can do is. Uh, Yeah, this is this this is what I can do. I can uh, I can do that. Uh, I can skin craft. Skin craft is so so OP because that gives me a chance to get all of these these again. I will with with that crit. This is now a single turn kill. Actually, pretty pretty easy one as well because now the corpse explosion basically kills them already. Especially when I crit. <laughs> okay, I didn't need that crit, but uh, yeah. Wait. What? 
Did I take threats? What? Did I die? I did. I took retribution damage from him, from her. How did that happen? Okay, I need to reload that. What? I did so much damage that I killed myself. With oh yeah, the flower had retribution. Interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Because, um, yeah, this is this is the problem when you start saves coming. You kind of start doing the fights in a kind of a hasty way, which is really not my style. Was that a spell or? I don't know about. Uh, Oh yeah, they have red. Okay, retribution seven. Okay, so yeah, I, I killed, I killed them too much. So I, I actually need, a, I actually need the living edge because uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die because I lose the blood rose, red rose elix. Okay, let's let's see if I get the crits again. It would actually be pretty cool if I don't get the crits this time, because then I can see that uh, how uh, how it, how it changes things. So let's see. But yeah, with uh, with the skin with the skin craft together with uh, flesh sacrifice and adrenaline, I can effectively get fourteen um, action points, but in one turn, which is ridiculous. And that was made. That is what makes this so uh, so powerful. I actually created with the teleportation last time as well, so let's see about this. Okay, one crit this time. That will make Diana harder to kill this time, because I didn't get the crits. Of course, one of these might crit and then it's uh, again easier. So let's do that. Okay, that was crits. That's good. And then uh, when I do... When I do this, it will be execution, so I get uh, two, two action points again. So now the question is... Let's do that. Will I try to get this guy there now, then I, if I do Living Edge? Okay, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's get the one... Uh, one guy in there together with the rest. No, but I want to do a double corpse explosion. Oh yeah, I, I messed it up. Well, let's let's go with this. I already I already came here, so let's uh, let's try this. So let's uh, let's put decay on this one, who's the strongest. Craft. A height advantage would be ideal here, but I don't think I can get it in a way that I can also also get that loss. So let's do the Nether swap. Nether swap, and now uh, we do the flesh sacrifice again. We do adrenaline again. I get living on the edge on myself so I don't die to the I don't die to the retribution this time. <laughs> I don't have it memorized. Why am I so stupid? Okay, I think I will die again to the retribution then. Okay. Well we have to do We probably have to do this again. I didn't die to that, I did take quite a lot of damage. So now they are all... Yeah, now I have this under control because I can... Uh, I can just knock them out. Okay, well this this kind of worked. This kind of worked, but it was not... Uh, it, was a, it was messy. Okay, 
they are all knocked down, that's good. You have to be careful with that uh, with that retribution. So I can't I can't do overkills this time. Having trouble focusing this earlier day, yes. And good to see you here as well, Rooks. Oh! Did I... Did I lose experience because Magister actually killed? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Kill stealer, kill stealer, Magister. Yeah, we actually actually didn't get exp for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, because we are min-maxing, we continue to save. Continue the saves coming to do do it the max way. The term is skill securing. Well, that's depending on the point of view, I guess. Okay, so let's take the living on the edge f first of all. Uh, bone gauge we are not going to use on this one. So uh, we're not going to die to those. Uh... Okay, so how do we do this? So we do, we do, we do what we did last time. We start the fights here. Well, actually, let's press B for free buff. Okay, third attempt. So let's do this again. Swap with that one. Flash sacrifice. Take what's you there. In fact, on Diana hole for crits. Thanks for the crit. That helps. So we get the, get the execution here. And then we will do the corpse explosion now, so that we can do the corpse explosion once. And we have the living on the edge, so we are not going to die. Nice crits. Okay. Then we jump there, we do the skin craft. Now it's now it feels like just repeating a learned learned moves, but uh, that's uh, that's the thing with this uh, this uh, this game that uh, you are especially with solo character because you don't have to think that much and you just repeat your things. Okay, so we should actually get this fight now just with the corpse explosion. Okay, well actually, do we actually have to teleport this corpse in there? Might be. So let's do that, and uh... Okay, there we go. How the heck did I do so much damage last time that I actually died? <laughs> died from the retribution. That was that was quite a fight. Okay, so we we kind of got it on the first go, but I was not paying attention to the not paying attention to the retribution, and that killed me. Somewhere in there are the elves. Okay, so we get a couple of the couple of the special armors from uh, from her. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> okay, I forgot the magisters don't like that. <laughs> Uh, okay. We do want to kill her in just a second, but we first want to talk to her. The wounded magister heaves in a breath. She. Oh! Oh, sorry. Thought you were that other mad elf. Damn drat. At least they're no old gun feral. You seem a decent sort. Those spores she was jibbering about. She carried on like I'd stolen her damned spawn. As if I wanted it. I was transporting the damned spawn. Uh, Matisers don't like me using source powers because source source is uh, forbidden. That's that's why that's why I was uh, or the character we we started the Forge to begin with because the Matisers are. Uh, imprisoning anyone who uh, who uses source or has source powers. All yours, and I don't want to know what you do with it. Okay, so uh, we got uh, we got the contamination spore, uh, which I think uh, they have them stored here or something. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Pretty sure I had at least one of those before, but what were they all these flawed ones? Yeah, I didn't have this actual one, I just had the flawed ones. Okay, so now that now that uh, now that she gave me that one, uh, now we can kill her. So now we can now we can actually piss her off. Initiative. Shina hero. Welcome. <laughs> Do we like leaving Matisters unharmed? <laughs> no. Okay, she did rest up, so uh, she's a little bit tougher to kill, but uh, we all, we should have no problems with her. Especially if we crit any of these skills. Skills. So we get, we get uh, 5400. So uh, we want to talk to her first, so that we... Uh, we get uh, we get the spore, I guess. I probably, well, actually, well, at least like that, I uh, I proceed with uh, proceed with the quest in a maximum maximum way. So now we now we have to do the we have to do the trigger spores thing. Okay, I'm not sure if these flawed ones do anything. But I guess I'm gonna use the flawed ones with uh, with the trigger spores. But um, I think uh, I think we have to now now use this one. This one with the trigger spores and someone. <laughs> Shamelessly posting other people's good glyphs just to confuse them with my own. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I think I will return to the graveyard now. Let me just check my checklist. Yeah. 
yeah, let's uh, let's get back to the graveyard and start start doing this. The well, it's an interesting tough fight there as well. Actually, want to kill these uh, these masked masked servants. So let me let me try this. So let's. Uh, what am I using the least? Oh, I still have the supernova. That was a uh, was a mistake. What did I what did I replace that with? I said to go away the bone cage, right? Okay, but let's uh, let's use the trigger spores. So what I want to do is. Uh, Take this guy here and uh, put the contamination spore in uh, in his pockets, and um, then use the trigger spores. the activation word causing the spore to explode but I thought that the explosion would be bigger so he didn't actually die oh that's hilarious I I thought that would do like a whole lot more damage that's that was the that was the biggest disappointment ever I thought I thought he would like completely explode from the spore So yeah, the corpse explosion. Actually, we uh, we get this piece of armor here. So is that actually already already the whole thing done? Sprouted gloves. There's there's still something something remaining with that. What is any use to me? Hydro geomancer, geomancer. Okay, these these creeps are actually pretty good. We are using those ones. Those pants are good. I don't care about the root in corruption, but the two intelligence is good, and the constitution is good. This might be super hard solo. Let's see. This part is gated off from the rest. Whoever is buried here must have been important. Here rests the lizard hero Vidya. She served Lucy and the Divine with great dignity. So and we right? want to examine all of these. Here rests Secrets the unlocked. Hero. I like that. Here rests the Okay, and the fight begins Fight begins when I uh, when I touch that one, so let me see. Uh could use the blood drain here. Shit. 
shackles might help because this is pretty tough fight. Uh, the blob is kind of useless in this one, so let's get shackles. Yeah, let's, let's prepare. Let's prepare for for this a bit. So. Uh, Let's make a little little pools of blood here. Well, actually, wait a minute. I'll be standing here and swap teleports. What's, what makes this actually even dip more difficult is that I'm not going to have a... Uh... Hmm. I'm not going to have a corpse for this. Okay, I will try to do this without a corpse. But if uh, if I set if I set my set this fight up by teleporting a corpse here, this would be a whole lot whole lot easier. But let's see. Let's see if I can do it with uh, with the grasp, for example. Same there. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here rests the elven hero, Halla. He served Lucy and the Divine with great vigor, and it suddenly the earth churns and buck- God Hogan! You, you must fall, so that we may rise! Let your blood quench our roots so we may grow! The covenant shall be fulfilled! So how tough were these guys? Okay, they are not... Okay, I, I remember that these guys are tougher than they are. Okay, we should have no problems here. So let's get uh, let's get three of them together. And we can grasp them. These guys too far. No, they are not, so that's good. Let's start with that. But the thing is with these ones, they actually resurrect if you kill them. And you get more experience if you um well, you get you get experience for killing them twice basically. So let's get the hide advantage. You in here. So I killed them once, got experience. Can I kill? Huh. Oh, I killed just one of them. Killed one of them, the other one was just uh, just knocked down. So yeah, you get uh, you get 19, 1950 every time you kill them. Okay, but that was the execution. Now if I kill if I kill Vidya again, I think Vidya leaves a corpse, which I can then make explode. So let's do that. No, it was this guy who resurrected. Fuck. 
Uh, okay, can I kill you? Okay, let's see. Let's see how much I can do here. How much will I do with the grasp? Uh, 920. Uh, so I would have to crit for that to kill. Are you standing in blood? Uh, I didn't think you are standing in blood. Yeah, it was almost my uh, my blood setup didn't quite work. This if this guy was in blood, this would be perfect. Um, okay, so do we? Do I teleport you in? Skin craft one point, that would be five. Grasp one. Oh wait, I got a level up. Nice. Hey Monagas, thanks for the meat fight. Meat fight uh, hydrate. But yeah, you guys have I have a I have a third monitor with uh, with a setup above my uh, above my main monitor. I have a checklist of things, so I have to. I'm using I'm using guide guide from that ready thread. Again, if you are watching this on YouTube, the guide is linked in the in the video description. Okay, so now I now I skin craft to maximize my action points. Do skin craft again. So again, with, with skin craft, I get 14 effective action points together with the execution. So I can do so many things during one turn. Okay, let's get this guy in the middle. That was perfect. The teleportation critting. So now I have I have killed all of them once. I have killed all of them once, so now when I do Grasp, if that kills even one of them, then I can do Corpse Explosion. These were heroes? What happened to them? What? And what's this covenant? <laughs> what's my crit chance? What the hell? I just created with I created all of them with Grasp. Two thousand! Oh, this build is insane! I killed those guys twice in one turn. <laughs> oh, that was lucky crit, of course, because I only have 50% crit chance, but... Uh, I, sti I still had like 5 or 6 action points left. This this build is so powerful, but it's also so fun. To do those do those do those nether swaps teleportation. I did not expect that to go like that. I was expecting to cast living on the edge at the end of my turn and then let let them do their worst. These guys had like uh, they had these uh, resurrected versions. They had like 16, 1700 effective. Thousand, seventeen hundred, thousand. That was a little bit of setup with uh, with the blood, and uh, I did use all my source points, but uh, was good. It's good fights.
is actually really good. I was not expecting that to go so well. Wonder if that arm is any good for anything else but eating. Is saved just in case. So I got, I, I got this from the from the elf in the previous previous fight. You see it all. The tallest of the ancestor trees. The one who uh, who had the poison armor. Clouds of death fog. Nothingness. I did save. You sag to the earth, utterly lost, and then you feel it. Not all is dead down in the valley. Spores given off by the ancestor trees. The presence within needs to grow, and it will show you how. But first, you must learn to protect yourself. <coughs> you are not alone any longer. Later. You hear the presence now. The armor always whispering. It does advance. The the thief looks round. Seas of power. Okay, so this uh, this basically gives the hit hint of what I already did, which was uh, make the corpse, make the spores explode. Okay, uh, we already did the dog fight with the bone demon. I don't think it's. I already. I already specked out of the pet pal. I didn't remember this. I think. I think you can get extra loot out of this, but not extra experience if you. If you talk to the crow. In death, the dwarves give and insight. convince that you are you are this uh, crow's friend. Spirit is dressed in tattered ceremonial garb. Eagle feathers tangle in his beard, and bird droppings decorate his robes. He surveys the circling flock with evident satisfaction. My faithful eagles work still. See my feathers fall. Do you actually get to grow as familiar? He won't leave my body till naught remains but bleached bone. Okay, then it actually might be worth it. Let's do that. I did not know that. Let's do that. So a little bit of uh We When did I when did I drop my pants? <laughs> I was walking around like this. Did I did I accidentally click those and uh Drop my pants or something? Do they have some requirements? No, I was wearing... Oh, that's why! Wait a minute, this... Ah, yeah, 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 that's why! Okay, I was using the contamination pants, but they have constitution requirements, so when I... When I used... Uh... Okay, I'm not going to use those then. When I used the flesh sacrifice, I... Uh... My constitution got low and uh, pants dropped. All right, thanks, uh, thanks, Atelier, for that uh, uh, reminding me about the crow. Or well, actually, telling me about the crow. I didn't know that. So let's do a let's do a temporary temporary respec here for uh, for persuasion and take the pet spell back.
I think you need three. Oh, I, oh, I leveled up. Right, I leveled up, so that's why I have I have points unspent. Um, we will need polymorph five eventually. Eventually, but that's level sixteen when we can get uh, the apotheosis. So let's just maximize ground roll for now. And uh, I'll just put more points in wits, so we'll maximize the wits. So that was at the same time also my leveling, leveling up as I was respecking. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go back. Get the top. Save. The eagle glowers at you balefully, with eyes like shiny little buttons. One manicured and beribboned claw shoots forth to claim the stringy offal before him. The crow's name will be murder. Closely <laughs> at I guess. Pretty eyes, eyes that see far. The eagle's own eyes glitter with avarice. We are an inspiration to our people. That inspiration, we're an example. Peck, peck, peck. The eagle pecks free some choice lump of gristle from deep within the corpse. He swallows it whole, dark blood dripping from his beak and matting the fluffy feathers at his throat. Master died, but Master told me what to do. All my life told me you are what you eat. So I do. I will become the Master. Unless you are not the new Master, are you? Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if all of these work when, I, you have, when you have enough persuasion skill, but I like this villain option. <laughs> like, of course, I am the Master. The new Master must first partake of the old Master. Only then. You chew it for what seems like forever, yet the texture does not change in your mouth. Tough yet moist, leathery yet slippery. As an elf, you were used to eating flesh, but this, this is disgusting. Sometimes you really wonder about how you make choices in life. Sometimes, like now. <laughs> oh, that's a, such a good line. The eagle hops from claw to claw, peering up at you with a berserk and bird-like. Sometimes, excitement. like now. See, feel it, the power. A hacking core breaks free from his ebony beak. Those little button eyes seem to twinkle in the gloom. Yes, kidney. Good for courage. Good for warrior. You will fight well. Now Master's blood runs within you. Featherfall is with you. Together. We go together from here. Featherfall hops eagerly onto your shoulder and digs his claws in deep. He pecks your cheek in what could charitably be called an affectionate manner. Blood drips from the wound. At least he didn't go for your eyes. <sighs> nice. Summon Condor. Okay. I'm sorry, he was not a crow. He's actually a... Actually a... Condor. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is the last one. Last one I need with, uh, with the pet spell. Inspiration to our people. Fighting deep into the rotting flesh, your senses are assailed with a rank you see myriad. Okay. <laughs> Perfect companion for the cool for the eyes command. <laughs> Check one thing. 
some useful useful crafting things. Uh there. Okay, so with the source source orbs I can actually make skin craft. Skin craft sc scrolls, so we can have some even even more insane. Uh source orb and animal scales. Can you can you get me animal scales? Uh, you can't, so I have to find those myself. Okay. Uh, feathers. Feathers give me teleportation, so uh, at least feathers will work. Go for the ice, murder. Go for the ice, boo. Go for the ice. I will just put points in Tiberi. I don't really need bartering points anymore. So I don't need to change the gloves now that I have Tiberi 5. Whenever I need to pick the locks. The deeds is zero. Where where is that? Completely missed that. Is there a... inspiration to our people? Oh right, you oh right, right, right. This uh Ah right, okay, it's uh, it's a category. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't haven't really paid attention to that. Perfect weather for it. Um okay. All right, we do have to, uh... Do have to go and get my source points. The puppets. So close. So far this creature is. Blank as a silent monk. The servant emits a menacing grunt. Oh, when I when I start to do these crits, things uh, things start to get really crazy. Uh, I'll worry about you later. So these mass mass servants give uh, 1950. So of course we are killing some. I think this chronicle is actually related to the. It is related to the relics of Rivalon, because I don't remember seeing this uh, chronicle before. Come on, mistress, hear me, heed me. You hey, transistor, even longer than last Saturday's fourteen hours. Uh, probably now. not, but let's let's go for that eight first. And I'm good. I hope I hope you are good as well. Zimski mutters to himself as he traces sigils in the dirt. Heads or tails. 
He flips the coin high in the air. It twinkles. Unlucky. But then what do I... All my life I served Lady Luck and see... Turning from you, he crouches back to the dirt. He resumes tracing esoteric sigils, his fingertips swirling through the graveyard clay. Uh, signs. Oh, late now, I cannot influence even a coin toss. But, ah, and what difference do you... Do he smiles a foxy... He begins to trace sigils on your flesh. Though you cannot feel his fingers upon you, he croons in can... Uh, now you feel a touch. So, uh, now, Lady Luck you get, uh... You get uh, source potion, which can be can be really handy. Uh, you need to use at least scholar attack works. Some other others might as well, but at least that. I'm loving these crits. 754 with the mosquito swarm, like, jeez. Uh, I have lost my murderous count. Was that the fourth servant? So I think there's five. What's I'm this? I found something. Some of these things are, are very useful for for you to eat as an elf and then some others others you are better uh, saving and using for using for other things. Okay, let's see if we can find uh Oh, he's there uh he's there with the dog, okay. The lone, lone wolf dude is, uh, he's pretty OP. <laughs> what? Wait, what just happened? Uh, 754 and he just died? Okay. No, that can't be right. Why did he die so fast? So looking at the wrong place in the lock. In the lock. There was the other guy. I hit this one so hard that even the lock couldn't keep up. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. Uh. Okay, I think that was the... Oh, there's one more. One more dude. 566, six, that's normal, no crits. Oh, this time no crits, we actually have to... We have to use free spells. Oh, we have to use even more. Yeah, fine. Now I'm pretty sure I got five. That would be all of them. Did I fight the dog? Because that's that's where I need to be, I think. It's here. Yeah, because the the dog, dog and uh, bone demon, uh, the dog summons. Dog summons will attack you, so you can't enter this place. But when the when the dog is dead, you can.
I, I remember this one. Uh, it's actually a pretty, well, kind of a kind of a puzzle in a way, because there's these petrified things, and uh, this so this still here. this was actually a uh, was actually a good learning lesson for me to uh, pay attention to uh, what the spells do. So armor of frost uh, cures. Cures burning, poison, stun, frozen, suffocating, and petrified. It cures them, but it also protects you from those things. Uh, Jim, I actually checked that checked that because uh, I uh, I played this game on Switch, Nintendo Switch, uh, and uh, when we when I posted that's my top ten games from Steam as far as played played game. Played hours ago. I checked my Twitch and I had uh, 240 hours on this. So probably, probably around 300 in total now. Um. Okay, but yeah, we uh, we want armor frost. So basically, the the point was that when when something cures something. It also gives you, it also gives you uh, immunity uh, against that thing. So what we want, what we want here is to make sure. That we are protected. Protected when we open this one. Otherwise we would be petrified. And same thing. These uh these um Well Tomb Robbers, Tomb Raiders. They uh, they have been petrified, so you could just leave, but you can also also cure them with the same spell. Let's put that on myself. Now I don't remember did this fight begin if I just uh, just get her out of it. So will I fight them one at a time? Always use protection. Exactly. This rich, cursed by a coffin, a rescue by a tree hugger. The indignity. She huffs in annoyance and rolls her eyes. Oh, all this trouble and for nothing. Never figured I'd need frost armor. Ouch! Ouch! You talk like I'm some cat burglar, slink. She purses her lips and. Oh, but do. She bows in insincere reverence. Her arm rests on her back. Hand me. She rises from her. Oh, honey. A jolt of cursed. Ring it. <laughs> oh, Quana. I will bring it. I, I don't think she. I don't think she knows who she had uh, just challenged to a duel. Like, mistakes were made. <laughs> Ah, uh, for her. That turn uh, that does proceed with uh, proceed with uh, with quests. So that's good. So we are proceeding with this one. So uh, we get this uh, two, one, and three. Something we need to remember later. Right, but as we are as we are minimaxing our experience, of course we uh, we are we are we are kind enough to rescue these other ones as well. Bone dust. Even the petrified aren't immune to the ravages of time, it seems. 
Oh. I didn't get to fight them. Huh. I should be getting experience from them. Hmm. You scrape your finger. Thought I could fight these guys. Hmm. Okay, let me uh, let me reload. Let me test that because I think I think you can get uh, experience from this one. It's actually actually quite a lot of experience. Uh, Captain Bennett, no, you uh, if you if you do something, if you do something that gives you experience, for example, thousand experience, um, thousand experience, you uh. It doesn't matter if you are alone or if you have a four-man part. So always, everyone gets a thousand. So basically, it doesn't matter experience-wise if you have a one, two, or a four-man party. Uh, okay, I actually didn't need to pick this lock. I could have just pulled this one. It would have opened this one. Okay, how do I get to fight all of those guys? So still here, like the air itself's been petrified. Do I? Okay, you know what? I I think I. I think I killed her too fast. I think she. I think she somehow gets them into the fights, right? Let me uh let me check this. So if I do this Nothing but bone dust. They just die. Even the petrified aren't immune to the ravages of time, it seems. Yeah, I think I need to let her live. I was I was too anxious with my du duel. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. let's do that. So let's uh let's loot this and this time we are going to let her take a turn basically. So that probably means I want to have living on the edge just in case I die. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to cast it on her. Okay, so living on the edge on myself, armor of frost on her. And this time when I fight her, I'm not going to kill her right away, so maybe maybe she activates the others and I can get some more experience. She huffs. Oh, all this trouble and for nothing. Never figured I'd need frost armor. Ouch! She purses. Oh, but she bows in insincere. She rises. Oh, honey. A jolt of ring it. Okay, so she's obviously some sort of a sorcerer, so this time we actually delay and give her a turn. No. 
Those are summons. Those are not uh, not what I was thinking about. This is a pretty interesting fight like this because uh, all those all those skeletons they uh, they summon more, so uh, you get uh, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of things around here. Does confuse me. Like, is it really so that I? No, is it? Is it just that I? I actually, I could just kill these ones without actually. Okay, this is this is weird. This is weird. So do I actually just get? Uh, if I don't use the armor of frost, but instead I just kill them. So I, I I do not you should be getting experience from these ones. Okay, so will everything go away if I uh, if I kill her now? They are all her summons, so gotta shoot. I love that crits. So so she's dead. Can I can I get experience from uh, So what if I just kill these guys? This is actually really strange. Why why don't I get experience when I used armor of armor of frost? If I do this Ah, oh, this is bullshit. That is so dumb. Like, you, you can actually kill these guys when they are petrified and you get uh, 3875 experience. Without this without this guide, which I have linked a couple of times, I will link it again in the, in the Twitch chat. Uh, if I hadn't been using that, which tells me basically where... So that I don't miss any experience because I'm doing this. I would have never done this. Like I on my on my first playthrough, I probably used the armor of frost on these guys and then okay, I guess there's nothing. Like why why do you get experience like this, but you don't get it when you actually use the armor of frost? That's dumb. And this is no this is actually pretty significant well not significant at this stage, but like Decent experience. Well, it's a good thing I have the guide. And again, if you are watching this on a later date on uh, on the YouTube's, there will be a link to that. Link to that in the description. They can't they can't even fight back. <laughs> so strange. But yeah, this is like this is what what is this? This is um this is like this is like almost 20,000 experience for free. Which at well, which at this stage of the game is like you don't really need it, but uh, when uh, when we are doing min-maxing experience, twenty thousand is quite a lot. We have killed we have killed frogs for twenty-five experience, so that is actually good thing I didn't miss that. <laughs> Does two guide to maximum murder? Yes, that's the that's the guide title. Okay, now we can go... Now we can 
go into the tomb where is that oh this this place still confuses me as far as the layout goes still confuses me okay here it is Yeah, that, that's probably the reason, that's kind of a, the kill, you get the kill experience, but then the, the armor of frost is kind of, you are not killing them, uh, you are just removing them. What's this? I found still stuck. There must be another one. I've spotted something. Ah, success. Is this isn't just a door to nowhere. Oh no, it's okay. Just where I came from. I'm so so absurd. Okay. So how was this puzzle? Shut tight. I remember that someone needs to stand here. No, the door. Well, that doesn't matter because I have teleportation. Mm, was there a lever or something? No, 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 I remember it. This was uh, where you have to use the spirit vision. Yeah, this totally confused me when uh, kind of, uh, then suddenly you remember actually used the spirit vision. Um, okay, but because I'm doing this solo... Can I make you stand still? Will you stay there? Not follow me? Ah, yes you will. Stay there, man. Okay, so then we... Then we use the spirit vision. And this was... What we read from... This one... Two, one, three. So we do two. Maybe this one. One. What did that do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, murder. I mean, first of all, three. You hear that? It did something. So now I think this, yeah, this moves. This moves when you do that. Okay, what's the what's the abilities on this guy? Flight. Flight to a nearby point. Big cost. Okay, so he does a he does a lot of damage. Bye. Shame. All this wealth's just going to waste. Ah, yeah, I remember this. This is... This is pretty cool. And also, again, kind of, when you find a place like this, and you get, get like 68 gold, or whatever you get from these piles, it's kind of a... 
kind of disappointing. <laughs> like you you actually figure out that kind of quest, then you get here like, ooh, piles of gold, and then you get like thousand. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, where's my, where's my treasure? But of course, all that is a kind of a balancing, balancing acts. Okay, but now for the now for the fun boss. So that's what we came for. You feel the unusual object's vast energy before your hand even touches its smooth surface. Upon contact, the semi-transparent artifact shivers and speaks. You know this language. It is an archaic tongue spoken only by demons for untold eons. When as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living. Restore my twin. Make me whole. In archive of old the blade resides. An isle of blood where demons abide. The object repeats its cryptic remarks. The oblong object is crystal clear. <laughs> Everything is okay. Nothing wrong with this place. What could possibly go wrong? what this artifact is. That was kind of easy. I wonder what all these things are here. What are these here for? What the hell? That? Oh! Now they attack me. Okay. But, uh... In here... I remember correctly these uh, these ones don't give any experience, but I think this is still pretty cool. Like they, they activate in the packs of six and then you have these two main guys here. I actually remember that uh, these guys activated first because they are the ones that give experience, but so uh... Make the corpse explode? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now this one activated. So these are these uh, these two are the ones that give experience. The others are there to uh, just uh, make your make your lives life difficult. Actually, not that strong. Interesting. Let's use the skin craft. Makes things simpler. Yeah. So that was nine, 1950 experience from that one. These fight. These guys don't give anything. This guy does. And they are not that strong, apparently.
So I, I, I don't have to... Uh... This guy's actually... A little bit hard to kill. So no experience from those, but I did get... Uh... <laughs> They're dead. More dead. Okay, so then we are done with this place. Let's go talk to Can this stay with this place still confuses me. With the layout. Before I talk to you, let me check if I have some stuff to sell. That one, that's one. That's the quest item. Ah, you again. Any luck in old He places his hand on the artifact and it drones in the demonic tongue. When, as one, I am slayer of sin, the object... It's true. Tell me, is this all there was? There weren't any other... curios in there? Amazing. But not unexpected. He breathes. <sighs> Imagine it. I can restore anathema to working condition. But this is only half of it. We still need the blade. Well, well, Blood Moon Isle. Tarquin does. Okay. So I think after this, uh, Tarquin will be back at uh, Lady Vengeance. Second time's a charm? Or have I asked too much of you? Okay, are you selling something, something interesting? No new books yet, right? Okay. Uh, finesse, necromancer summoning, pyro necro, pyro two necro. I think I actually sold those things. Turn one, okay, boots with sneaking. Okay. Not anything worth. Oh. This would be upgrade damage wise because it does give uh, one extra intelligence and adds warfare. But it does lack the two iron, so I will keep it for now because the two iron is pretty useful right now, so I don't have to use points on that. So basically with this build you only only put the points in the skills apart from warfare scoundrel. Uh, two-handed later on in the game. Uh, you put on only points in the skills that you need for the spells. So that's why, for example, the plus two iron on the, on the helmet is pretty good, because I don't have to put points in it to use the spells I need. And find that, and find that. Sell, 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 Huntsman Pyro. I draw Geo, sell. I think, uh, I think we are done with the graveyard for now. We're done with the graveyard because I uh, I got uh, all the masts. Mast ones, we will come back for Riker later. So we did, uh, did all those quests. 
So what is what is up next? It's kind of a kind of a order of. Uh, uh no, we just uh, we just need to um, like because uh, every time we level up, all the merchants get good gear, uh, get new gear for that level. So right now it doesn't matter that much, but when we get to the last parts, the Act Four, uh, to Arcs, the city. Uh, there are some unique unique items we want to buy and uh, also if they happen to sell some um, the merchants happen to sell some items so we want to have money for those uh, there's only only so much gear that you can steal the best items you actually have to buy or might have to buy because uh, the best uh, for most of the slots, eventually I will have a unique item, but uh, these uh, these uh, colored ones, not the golden ones, uh, they are random. So I might find like a super good ring on level 14 that I will use to the end of the game if it happens to have good skills. Gear optimization only, yes. That's the only, only thing you need the money for. And, well... There are still a couple of skill books I need to buy on level 16, but that's about it. But uh, some of the... Towards the end of the game, as the items level up, they all also get more expensive. So for example, this uh, this level 11 item is worth 1773, which means I have to pay like 2000 for that if I bought this. And those prices just go up as the, as the levels go higher. So if I see like a super good ring, it might cost like 5,000 or 10,000 in the end of the game. But you also start getting more money. So the 50,000 I have is kind of a lot already. So I I don't need to need to MS MS any more gold, but uh, I can't help my looting manners some, sometimes. Okay. Um, so we have choices to do here, what we do. Like, what area do we do next? It would be really interesting to try... Like, because I'm, I'm now at level 14. Before I'm done with everything, I will be at level 17. Level 16 is kind of the next tier because I get new spells. Um, I'm kind of curious, just for challenge, challenge purposes, I could try to do the, the hardest, hardest enemy here in this area already at this level which is Alice let's go try that Alice Alice is quite a witch quite a witch but uh will I take a break before that No, not there. <laughs> I'm not stealing every single shiny on every single NPC. Well, um, I've uh, my first my first playthrough was a little bit like that. But then uh, in this game, because you can you can only steal from from an NPC once. But uh, when you have four man party. <laughs> Every one of those characters can steal from every NPC once. So then then the whole stealing became such a chore that I, I think I stopped at some point some point during this act because I was like, okay, I'm I'm done with this. <laughs> like I I have enough gold. 
because I was stealing everything, I wasn't buying anything, so I wasn't even using the gold for anything. So then I started playing as a kind of a good guy. Okay, this is um, this is a little bit trickier. Trickier because we don't want to fight Jahan yet, but we uh, we do want to kill the demon. So maybe if we teleport the demon away. And don't acro Jahan. So let's see. What what happens if I just kill them from here? Jahan doesn't care. I don't even need to teleport him away. He just... Oh! Why did that... Why did my demon explode? Oh, no killer and lose. He was just... Oh, there's a murder! But yeah, Jahan is level 20, so... We, we will get Jahan later. Something afoot, checking it out. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Okay, so that was uh, that was seventy five hundred experience from those guys. Yeah, then this area. But actually, when I said that's one of the toughest enemies, one of the toughest enemies is actually right there. But we'll uh, we'll deal with the trolls later. Okay, let's do the pairs. Okay, this this fight might require actually a little bit experiment experimentation. Because these Honey bears looks like. These guys these guys will transform Transform into Void Woken. So they basically they don't like you going near their their honey. So if you if you go if you go go close, they will uh, they will not like you. But uh they have so so many hit points. That's kind of the game. Game things that you can't uh, you can't kill them at one go or something. So I want to test that if I if I kill them before they change into Void Woken, what experience I get like that, and what experience I get when they transform. And there's a very handy corpse here for me to use for that. So. Uh, let me see how do we want to do this. So we uh we go there, take the Nether Swap with the corpse and myself. Then uh, then we start getting some blood on ourselves. Less sacrifice. Let's use a little bit of teleportation. Here to do more damage on them. Eight hundred with <laughs> eight hundred damage with teleportation is a little silly. Okay, so one of them died before. Okay, this was actually a, this was actually a good test, especially if I don't die here. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I get the experience. Doesn't matter if they transform or not. So if I had done if I had done hundred more damage, 
I would have not had to fight this Void Woken at all, like like what's happened to this one. So you still get 8000 experience. Uh, whether they transform or not. Now, now when I kill this one, it should be the same experience. Yeah. Okay. So if, if you have enough power... Um... If you have enough power, if you just kill them before they transform, doesn't matter. Does the loot change? No. Okay. That's good. Oh, there's the leech. Nasty deeds, 99. <laughs> Killing the honey bears. Mm. The creature devours the corpses as a vulture devours carrion, stopping only as you approach. I have my freedom. You have your reward. He drained me. Let me feed. Oh, I cannot control the hunger. The world won't more rip away his hide. My source was his lifeblood. Now my hunger must be sated. My soul will be mine again. My soul jar waits in the hills. Each taste of the creature continues its battle. So I think the max max experience in here is actually actually fighting the skeletons from these ones and let the lich go. But that was obviously not the, the right choice. On its meal. A sleuth of bears would make less of a blood Something you can do. Ask if it will spare others. Okay, let's try that. Well, look at you, all noble. I can't promise that your sacrifice will fill my belly. Okay, but take take one point. Me. It reaches out with its brittle fingers, and you hesitantly offer your hand. In an instant that feels like an eon, your source flows into the famished creature. Oh. Ah, okay. I'm I'm actually now checking the checking the guide. Okay, this 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 is a, this is like a real genius way to do this. So that actually progresses the quest. That's like the normal way to do it. You will uh, you will face the face the lich later. Huh. Okay, I have to try this. So apparently the best way to do this is actually to attack the lich so that he summons the skeletons. But then you don't kill the lich itself. Okay, so let's try this. So the trick is to actually actually fight him, but not really fight him. I want to stand in this blood. Look my way. The creature devours Hello. the corpses as a vulture devours carrion, stopping only as you. I have my. He drained me. Yes, so then we. Oh. I cannot blah, 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 blah. Away. my source was his life Attack. then you Ok 
Okay, let's let's put the living on the edge on just in case. So we're not going to attack the leech at all. Yeah, it's Ellie. That's uh, that's the ten. 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 Do I do I need to kill? Do I need to kill the leech? Hey, metal fan. Uh, when did you leave? Were you here at the beginning? Sorry, I don't remember. So we have been doing it act two. So do I do I still need to like kill him and that knocks him out or something? Does the fight end if I kill these kill these others? Yeah, that was sneaky, sneaky of them to do that. So what I okay, let's let's try how this goes. Okay, am I blinded? Oh, this is making things so so much more difficult. Um. Okay. Yeah, these guys are, are two level higher than the Lich. Okay, this was... Um, uh, okay, so how do, I, how do I do this? Should I cure the blindness? Doesn't cure the blindness. Peace of mind. Peace of mind would... But it didn't protect me. Let me see if I have uh, if I have ranged here to do stuff or not. Yeah, because I'm blinded, I can't. Okay, do I have a piece of my scroll? Let's just cure that blindness. Actually, is that all oh, right? The corpses are still there. Oh, but I can't use it because these uh, right. Can't I can't corpse explode when the corpses are actually actually standing up? Okay, this should give me the execution AP and leaving a corpse there that I can then explode, and that should end the fights. And the lich is still alive. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 75, 37. Okay, yeah. 18,000 experience. And he's still there. Okay. Good. Stay your weapon, and I will reward you. In <laughs> Glad to join, her, join another 24 hour stream. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, uh, we'll at least do 8 hours. And then we'll see. Last last Saturday was 14. Alright, but yeah, thanks uh, thanks Elwark for uh, reminding me how this uh, how this works. So we pay a spirit lich. And that uh, that continues the quest. Okay. Good. Good. Tasty. Tasty tasty. 19,000 experience. So 
where the ruins is. That's where eight nays. We could go and give it a corpse explosion book to eight. But let's wait with that a bit. That's what the honey bears was. My hands, yes. There must be one to be found somewhere. Uh, it's not too eighth, eh? Okay, let me see. Okay, yeah, we have to go there. I think I will have my uh, have my second break here. I'm. I didn't have a big snack. Big snack, so let's uh, let's have a break. I think I need something to something to eat. Yeah, there's the bears. Let's do the bears. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll deal deal with Aethne soon enough. So uh, I think the trick with uh, trick with her will be. That um, uh, she's a she's kind of a useful merchant, merchant. But uh, we can um, so we can basically give her to give her the corpse explosion and kill her at any moment. But just in case I need to buy something of her, I'm uh, letting her live. But if I give her the corpse explosion book. Then uh, she'll just walk away. So uh, we'll wait with that. But um, yeah, I will have a, I will have a break. Um, probably like something between five and ten minutes. I have my, uh, I have my uh, food ready. So I will, I will eat that, and then, uh, then we'll continue doing everything in Act Two. We have still ways to go. We are now level fourteen. We will hit level seventeen before I end. And uh, I think after these bears, I will um, I will try to kill Alice. And those who have played this game, if you have not been one-shotted by Alice, I don't think you have played this game. So I think I think everyone has been one-shotted by Alice. So I will have my revenge. Probably, I probably will be one-shotted by her before uh, before I get her. But let's see. But anyway, let's have a short break. Five to ten minutes, I will have something to eat, and then uh, we have at least, well, at least four hours to go after that. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> 